going on guys welcome back to the video so today we are working on the e36 here so like i said we were having problems out at the track where i could only drive about two to three laps and then the car would start to overheat so <clears throat> my buddy eddie had a great idea and said that we should just grab some water sprayers off of another car like that you use for your windshield wipers when you go to like click the button back and it sprays water on the windshield and the wipers go so we're going to try to repurpose one of those kits and we actually have a new kit that we got off of a uh, miata theoretically it comes off of miata eddie's buddy actually had one laying around his shop and said that we could go ahead and pick it up off of him so Today we're going to go ahead and try to do that, um, try to get it ready so that way we can head back out to the track sometime soon. Um, but we are going to uh, get started here in a couple seconds. Alright guys, so to get started on this, um, what we're going to do is remove this cover here so we can free up some room up here. Because we are going to put these little uh, <clears throat> squirters in there. Eddie, do you have one of those? Uh, they're on the floor over there. By oh. the way. Eddie's over here preparing some wiring. Um, these here are the little water sprayers. So we're actually gonna flip these upside down so they're like this. And that way they spray down onto the radiator so we're not getting missed up or anything. And we're getting a direct shot to that. So Eddie actually made some brackets for these which are actually in this bag too. So that way, hold on, let me see if I can do this with one hand. So the water sprayer will sit in our bracket like so and it'll get pushed down and the clips will hold it in place and then there also is a screw hole here so we can mount it to the body somewhere. Um, this is the tank that we're actually using. Um, we're actually we're going to mount it somewhere in this area here that way we can run our ground to here and then we have our power directly right here and then right in we can put the switch and wire all that stuff in so it's not super complicated we'll try to explain it as best as we can so somewhere about here and then that way it's easy to get and add water or ice whatever we have to do to try to keep the car cool and see if this helps out a lot more all right guys so first we're just going to remove this little plastic cover doesn't necessarily have to be on the car but i think it makes the engine bay look a little cleaner You'll see what I mean. Take that off. It doesn't look as pretty. Makes it pretty, you know. So we'll start by taking this off and then we're going to mount our little container here for our water. Roughly about here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the bracket off and do that also. Alright guys, so got the drill. Got our two little uh, fast rivets into metal. We have our little backing plate here that we're going to install. So we kind of just, I wouldn't say we're eyeballing it, but we pretty much have an idea where we want this thing to go so it fits. Let's go ahead and get this in here. Brackets installed, and our little pump goes right here. Easy as that, right? Putting together some of our wiring, making sure all of our ends, hopefully that focuses, there it goes. Um, putting all our ends and connecting some of the line that we have here so we can make longer runs. So we can get to the, to the switch and from the switch back to the power because the switch is gonna be, <clears throat> gonna mount this somewhere here inside the dash. We might go into this section right next to my other fan switch that's here might put it there that being our ground we now have <clears throat> our line that goes from the unit again to the switch so it also has a female so that way that can go on to the motor itself that's going to spray the water and we happen to have two lines that were the same but a little short so we went ahead and pigtailed these together and then this is the open side that will go into the switch inside the car. So Eddie's just finishing up the last one there, which will be um, power to the switch, correct? Yeah. So it'll be power to the switch. So it will have, <clears throat> it won't have an end like this. It should have a round end. And then it should have also a round end on the other side so that way we can connect to the switch. That's what this actually needs. We gotta throw one on here. Um, that way it'll connect to the switch. All right, so this is also our little switch that we have, a little on off on off so 
We're gonna put one of the little circular guys that go on here. That's gonna mount to this. And then the other wire that Eddie's working on is actually gonna mount to the other side and then go straight to power. All right guys, so we're trying to find a location for the switch and we think we found a location for now. We're just gonna go ahead and drill out this little hole here just for the time being until we get our uh, center metal plate built here. So then we can just add the switches all in through here, get it all unclustered from this side of the car and you know, make it look more like a race car with everything uh, set up here. Um, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and drill this out a little bit, put this through, pop it through. That way the switch too is on a completely different side from my actual fan. Um, that way I don't really get it confused, but it's still over in an area where I can see it when I'm driving. So I always know that when the car is hot, I can easily flip the switch and this sprayer should, you know, kick on and spray the radiator. Just like that, drilled the hole. This thing's in here. We just gotta put the remaining part of the hardware on to mount it in place. But we're gonna leave it loose so that way we can uh, wire everything in first, make sure it works, and then we'll give the final mounting placement here. All right guys, so, well, <clears throat> finished up wiring up um, majority of our lines here and now he's just putting it through a uh, wire loom so that way everything you know stays together and it looks cleaner especially being in a black wire loom now on this line here that is going from our switch to power yes um, we are gonna put a fuse in here so that way it doesn't blow anything up and if it does pop it'll pop this we know to check this first in case there's any failures with it so these are the two wires that we're gonna connect to the switch. Um, we got these all wire loomed up, and then Eddie's holding the other side over here, which will split off to... Whatever that pump is. So it'll split off to like the motor that's on the container over there. So you got the female connector that's gonna attach to here, and then you got the, the hook right here that we made that's gonna connect to the power source. So they're gonna split, so we left some of the loom on like longer so that we can make sure that it still stays covered, but we're gonna start feeding this through the car and then start wiring majority of the stuff up. All right, so Eddie's running the wiring up through this uh, little cubby pocket that we have here. I still have to fill this hole with um, a metal plate so that way it stops the heat from uh, coming into the cab here. So, let's see if I can grab this. Um, yeah, that should be enough right there. Okay. So, unless I like wire this up over a bunch of stuff, <clears throat> I may need just a hair more. So, let me actually gotcha. Yeah, um, let me go ahead and uh, I gotta put the camera down real quick so I can get my hands back here. But we're gonna loop the wiring probably up over the steering column, and then that way it will uh, drop out on this side, and then we can run it straight to this. All right, so we're installing the switch right now, so we just gotta take off both of these. And right now, it currently doesn't matter like which one's left or right or right or left. Um, we'll determine that up front once we put power to it. Um, we can determine which one will be our, uh, our actual feed to the switch power. Now this is the other side where we ran through um, the hole that I showed you guys on the back side. Now Eddie luckily enough put this here in the right spot so we don't have to access it from inside the car. We can just access it from in the engine bay here. And then these are the, uh, the rest of the lines here that we're going to use. Now we do have to have one split off to our power that's up here and then we have to have one that splits off and connects onto this guy here and our ground will also connect onto here so two wires to here one to ground one to power and one to power the switch So we finally got everything wired in. Um, we actually ended up coming across, coming across a problem with 
us not getting power to the switch. So we traced back the lines, ended up finding out that some of the crimp points didn't stay crimped. So we went ahead and pulled all the wiring back out, changed the wiring out with a little bit thicker wiring and reattached everything together. Now we do have sound, it does kick on, but we ended up using a lot thicker gauge wire. Um, still have one running to the ground. This one runs back into the car and then it also splits off and then goes right here into the power. So power comes in, goes into the switch, switch comes back out and then comes back in through here into um, our motor and then we have a ground fire motor also. Now Eddie, can you go ahead and flip the switch? Okay. Running the plastic tubing or plastic tubing and a T. So this longer one is the main main one that plugs into our motor right here, if you guys can see that. And then it'll tee off and hit each one of the sprayers. So we actually did find a good mount, mounting point for our sprayer, which would be here and here. So there's already pre-made holes here. Um, Eddie's little bracket um, works out actually really well because it mounts up right up into here and we have no problems with that fitting. So trim some of this wiring. We're gonna plug this in to our motor here. Just like so. Eddie's going ahead and mounting the uh, sprayers through the hole on that side. Pretty simple, like I said, Here's our uh, sprayer and how it's mounted underneath with these plates. The bolt goes through. And since this sprayer here is pointing uh, to the right along with this sprayer here, we had to route the uh, line just a little bit longer so we could come up and around that way. Um, our center line is zip tied up to the radiator. It's not gonna get too close to the radiator so we don't have to worry about like heat or anything. Um, and then it's just plugged into here. And then our main line is ran right here, and then that goes up into the motor. All right, now it's time for the water. Hopefully I don't make a mess everywhere, but we'll see. It's kind of a weird angle, yeah, but you know, whatever. Oh yeah. You go ahead and turn on the sprayers. And as you can see, go ahead and do it again. They both spray out pretty well and they're soaking the radiator. Like this thing, you see how much water's dripping. So that should hopefully keep the car cool when we are trying to hot lap. Um, like I said, like I was saying last time we were out at the track, we were having tons of overheating issues where two to three laps in, Car's getting hot, you know, I gotta bring it in. And then we were, um, you know, pouring water on the radiator and it was actually dropping the radiator like back down to normal temp pretty quickly. So hopefully this does solve that issue. I mean, the only way we're gonna know is, you know, getting back out to the track. Um, so hopefully we can make that happen soon. I've um, been looking at trying to attend maybe an event or two, uh, maybe before the end of the year. If not, there's definitely, um, Definitely plenty of events for the next year. Much appreciated. I am not the guru with wiring, but both of us. I will say thank you to Dan Panzoni over at the silo for providing this. That was key right there. So he actually had this uh, this tank laying around. Like we said, it was for like a Miata, I think, right, Eddie? Yeah. And uh, he was willing to give us like a brand new one for a really good deal. So thanks to Dan. Much appreciated. And uh, hopefully this thing will... Uh, actually be able to get some seat time now now that it'll stay a little bit cooler until we can get a new radiator like i was saying hopefully this water sprayer does actually help and you know i think it should um it sprays a lot of water the tank isn't necessarily like really big but the thing is is you're only out of the track for like you know anywhere between five to ten laps at a time if you're hot lapping and by that time, if you have to come back in and like refill that, it's really not the end of the world. All right, so I think I'm gonna close out the video for tonight. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the rest of the content that's coming. Later.
I feel like a champ Heavyweight, first place, who could expect to get slapped? I'm on the laps, round the competition, thinking of last I just laugh, take a sip, as I go and sit back Got the almond in my coffee, it's with toffee, it's packed Well I stack as many rhymes in my mind for advance Situations where I might have to release in their hands